Morning guys, so it's Monday today and I just said on my Snapchat, every Monday, I have a bad hair day. I can't even do anything with it, it's so frizzy and I just couldn't bother to wash it this morning because I'm trying not to wash it as much so the colour doesn't fade and um, because obviously I had it fixed if you watched last week's vlog you would have seen my hair drama and I'm just about to edit that vlog so hopefully it's not the worst vlog in the world um, but yeah so I don't want my colour to fade obviously because the orange will come back through so I'm trying not to wash my hair as much and that is basically my excuse that's all I have for you so this morning I am actually just at home um, I put some makeup on because I couldn't bear to look at myself earlier. It was that bad. Um, but I'm really tired today because Chris had loads of gigs over the weekend. He's in a wedding band um, and like a corporate, well, but basically just functions band really. And um, yeah, he had like a couple of gigs over the weekend and I tend to stay up and wait up for him. Um, but he gets home like half one, two in the morning. And two nights in a row for me is way too much and I'm knackered today. He was actually fine. He was like, I'm fine. And he was actually the one out working. Whereas I was literally just sat on the sofa. Um, last night I did work until 12 though. So that's probably not ideal. I should probably should have just stopped watch, um, working and watched some TV or something. But I did work until 12 and I got myself in a bit of a tiz was. <laughs> I don't know if anyone uses that word anymore. But yeah, I had a really big like Twitter meltdown last night and Snapchat melt. I just really got like down and upset about blogging and YouTube and it happens quite a lot to me. I think when I upload a video on a Sunday, it's a bad idea because I always look at my subscriber count and when you upload videos sometimes on YouTube, you lose subscribers. It's just one of those things. Like even if I put a picture on Instagram, everyone does lose subscribers. But when you're trying so hard to build up your subscriber count and it's not all about numbers, but obviously if I'm gaining subscribers and gaining views, then it means I'm doing something right. Whereas if I'm losing some when I upload a video, it makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Even if it's just five people, I literally feel like, ah. Oh. And sometimes them, view sometimes them subscribers are just closed accounts and they're like ghost accounts and things. But it just winds me up that every time I upload is when they go, like the closed accounts. Like, why can't they just gradually go over time? But no, they go when you upload a video. Um, and yeah, I just had enough of it all last night. You know, you're just like, I have had enough of this. I'm working really hard here and no one seems to be helping. Like YouTube just seems to be like knocking me down. Um, so yeah, it was one of those nights last night. Um, but luckily, some lovely bloggers messaged me. Oh, put the lid on my uh, thing. Some lovely bloggers messaged me and made me feel a lot better about that. So I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm feeling a lot more positive and happy. So. That's good. I bought a new lamp for my desk because it gets dark about 3 p.m. now. And I thought that it would be easy, but I have to undo this screw to get the light bulb in. So, I'm gonna go raid, I can't hold this camera, what am I doing? So I'm gonna go raid Chris's toolbox in the hope that I can get that screw open because like I said, it gets dark so quickly now. And when you're sat in your office all day and you can see the dark creeping in and you don't have a lamp or anything obviously it can be quite depressing so i bought that from Dunnell mill if you're interested and it's super cheap that is not his toolbox that is some weird glue box i think his toolbox is in here ah uh, the tools i don't even know what um screwdriver i need for this That was a really stupid idea. I put the screw and all this fluffy material, this fluffy on this fluffy rug. Oh, that was a really stupid thing to do. Oh. Guys, I found the screw. That was a really stupid, but very me thing to do. This is why I do not like DIY. You have to actually think about it. <laughs> Yay, it works. Although now I have this <laughs> across the back, but I need to get like a longer extension cable thing for that. But yeah, finally in my, my desk is looking a little bit more how I want it to look. Chris's desk is really nice. It's like very bohemian. 
he has a lot more room to play with than me, so yeah, I'm really happy with this. This is the main reason I hate winter. It's quarter to five and pitch black outside. So depressing. <laughs> Hurry up, summer. Bath time, possibly my favorite part of the day. I have been loving this cleanser at the moment. It's a daily foaming cleanser. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love this. It's really, really good for like sensitive skin. Obviously I had some problems with my skin when I was in Cornwall, so I've been really careful about what I put on it, but this has been really, really good. It's kind of just like, feels like my, my face is really clean and my skin is really clean after I use it, which is exactly what I want. Um, I've also been loving this shampoo, and um, this is by ODX, and this is the Grat Gravity Defying and Hydration um, shampoo and I really really like this it's good if like me your hair is a little bit fine um, and I'm using it alongside my Frizzies conditioner by John Frieda because I love this conditioner and shampoo but I've run out of the shampoo so I'm just using the conditioner today and then, then I have my Dove soap over there but you don't really need to see that because that's boring and while we're on the subject of bath I'll show you what I've actually put in my bath for the bubbles and I've used this bath soap by Sense and this smells really nice it's Thai Rituals um, and yeah, it makes nice bubbles in your bath. So that is my bath. Good morning. <laughs> and what, is it Monday? No, it's not Monday today, it's Tuesday. Oh. It's actually two o'clock, naughty me. Um, I've got a bit of a bad hair day today, but we'll ignore that. And um, yeah, it's two o'clock and I have been doing work this morning. Um, nothing too interesting, just mostly emails. And I'm trying to change my YouTube header. And that has proven a little bit difficult because I haven't designed anything for so long. I'm actually like, I have a degree in graphic design um, and I worked as a graphic designer for quite a long time as well. Um, but yeah, I haven't actually designed anything properly for ages and I get really caught up on the fact that I don't know if it looks nice, I don't know if it looks good. Um, I feel a bit out of the loop with it. Um, so yeah, so it's taken me quite a while. This hair is really bugging me, but never mind. I'll show you what I've done so far because it's not that good. <laughs> so basically all I've done so far is change what I already had and I've just made it white and it's very boring so I need to change it um, and let me go onto my channel that is what I've done so far <laughs> that is like literally the most simple thing but I can't find anything I like for the background so I need to like figure out what I want to do in the background um, and basically just want a bit of a refresh on it I've had the same one for a while now and I think I need it to fit in more with what I'm doing on there so yeah, so that's what I'm doing, or what I should be doing. It's definitely winter. Like, last night, I think it was pitch black outside at five o'clock. Like, what is that? I just hate winter so much. Um, I love it for, like, the cosy evenings on the sofa, under the blanket, and not feeling guilty for not going out. But then I also hate it for, like, the early, like, darkness at the evenings, and, like, the, the morning seem quite, um, the morning seem quite dark as well. So that's not what I enjoy about it, but I do enjoy a bit of a cosy evening on the sofa. I must admit, that is my kind of thing. I love the coziness. I'm all about the coziness. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go and get on with some more work now. So I will catch up with you in a little while. I'm not doing anything interesting. And to be honest, this week is a little bit of a slow week as well. Thursday, I'm doing something interesting, but I'm not gonna tell you until I'm actually doing it because You've got to watch and find out what I'm up to. So keep watching till Thursday if you really want to. And um, but yeah, I'm gonna put a jumper on because I'm cold. Okay. Well, <laughs> can we just talk about this? This is my office. It is half four. It's 4.27 and this is the state of my office. Look how dark it is in here. I'm just gonna make it darker and just close them. I'm gonna put on my new lamp. You wait guys, this transforms everything. Ah, uh, you can't see it. That's better. How dark is it at half four? I feel so depressed about this. I'm not ready for it to be like winter. I feel like I'm just not ready to accept the fact that it's winter and this is how it's gonna be until next year now. Until well, when? Until like April maybe? Oh. So it's dinner time and I'm cooking something a bit healthier today because we had quite an unhealthy weekend and I have some new potatoes, some vegetable, well loads of vegetables um, steaming in there and then we've got a vegetarian sausages for me and then Chris has got these kind of 
pastry, vegetarian flap things. Oh, the flaps. <laughs> They're not flaps. Um, like pie things. Um, yeah, so it smells so good. I'm so hungry, but also so excited that I'm eating something healthy because, like I said, unhealthy weekend. Had an afternoon tea as well, so probably not the most healthiest thing to eat in the world, but I'll show you what it looks like when I've cooked it all and it's all finished. Um, it won't be very Jamie Oliver, I'm going to admit, it's not going to be very fancy, but healthy-ish. <laughs> so today has started weirdly, um, excuse the face, I'm still to put some makeup on, um, but yeah, so this morning it is um, the election results day and it has come out that Trump is now the president for America and I'm not all that clued up on like politics, it's not like my strongest subject of life, um, but I know that this is very bad and obviously if any of you guys did vote for Trump then that is your own decision and that's absolutely fine, um, I'm not here to judge anyone, but I do feel really worried about it. From what I've seen of Trump and like his speeches and how disgusting he can be towards women especially and you know his racist remarks, sexist, I just, I literally have no, no positivity in my mind about him today, I just feel like worried. I basically felt this way for the Brexit in the UK, so when um, we voted out of the EU I felt worried then as well and today I feel like that feeling again, I feel like concerned and worried and like what the hell is our future going to turn into? I just feel like concerned about the future but yeah hopefully it'll all be okay and hopefully by some miracle like he will realise that he can't act the way he has done but to be honest when he's acted that way and he's been voted in I can't imagine he's going to want to change or need to change so I do feel really worried. I don't want to start any arguments or anything but I'm just interested to know what you guys think because I don't know anyone that lives in America so I can't ask them and um, apart from like Twitter and stuff but yeah it'd be really good to know what you guys think about it all but I feel a bit down this morning and the weather is horrible in England it's literally like the most rainiest day well, you can't see that, I don't know why I'm showing you. Um, yeah, it's so rainy, I've already got my light on because it's so dark as well. It's just cold, dark, rainy. Um, but I am going out for a coffee at lunch, so that'd be nice. So I'm gonna do that. I've got to post this lens off as well, but I'm trying to buy a camera that I can use in the meantime of not having this camera. And the one that I want is sold out everywhere. So I might wait to send the lens off until I get a new camera because otherwise I can't vlog. So I've just come for a coffee and oh my god, it is freezing today. I hate winter. Gotta say, I hate it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and have a coffee now with my friends and I will catch up with you after. Probably not gonna vlog it because we've only got an hour and we've got some catch up to do, so yeah. So today I have an exciting day. I am actually going on a photo shoot with our wedding photographer. Um, I actually know our wedding photographer um, through a friend as well, so I'm quite friendly with her anyway. Um, but we're gonna do, go and do a kind of bridal inspiration shoot today. I've done one already, which I did put on my blog. Some of the photos, I've actually got some left that I need to upload as well. But I'll leave the link to that below if you wanted to check that out. But yeah, today we're gonna do a autumnal bridal shoot in the freezing cold and today it is freezing but I think it's going to be amazing because the trees are so pretty at the moment. Obviously I am going to be like modelling in the shoot so I'm not sure how much footage I'll be able to get but I might ask one of the girls that are coming along to um, film some so if I've got any of that I'll insert it as well. Um, I'll leave all the links below to our wedding photographer and the person that did the hair, the person that did the makeup and things like that as well because I think it's quite a good team we've got today. It is quarter past five and I've just got home. The traffic was really bad because it's like rush hour 
Um, and I wish it was still daylight because I wish you could see how pretty my makeup and my hair looks. Like the hair is so cool and my makeup, so I'm just closing my blind. And I literally don't want to take this makeup off. It's like it stayed on so well all day as well. It's really, really nice makeup. So I'm really happy with that. But now I've got to take it all off. So it's a bit pointless. Um, but yeah, maybe you can see the hair a bit better now. It's got this really cool kind of pulled out plait. And then if I turn around, the back is all kind of like twisted in. So yeah, so that's the hair. I did have a little floral crown as well, which went on there. Not like that, obviously, but a bit nicer. Um, but I took that off for the drive because I found that everyone was staring at me wearing a floral crown. Um, but now I need to have a bath and warm myself up because, oh my God, I am freezing. Um, it's so cold outside now. Obviously it's November, so it's going to be. I've got all my bags to take upstairs as well. But yeah, today was so much fun. Like, it's so much fun working with um, my photographer that I'm actually having for the wedding, obviously, because I love her style of photography. Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't book her for my wedding, um, but it's really nice to work with some creative people as well, and especially when it's wedding related, like, I love anything wedding at the moment. If you're getting married as well, I guess you'll understand that when you're getting married, all you can, like, think about is your wedding, and when it comes to doing things like this, that's, like, really, like, wedding orientated, it's just so much fun, so, yeah, I really enjoyed today, and um, that's about it. I need some food. I'm starving, and um, yeah, I really like this makeup. Even this light looks cool. And um, yeah, I'm so hungry, and I'm gonna go make some food, have a bath, warm up, and yeah, that is it for today. <laughs> I'm cold. I'm hungry, but I've had a good day, so it's been fun. So yeah, catch up with you in a bit. So I was just using my pen, which is pretty random, but I got sent this pen from Pen Heaven and um, it has tiny twist on it. I think this is one of those Parker pens, so it's a really good pen as well. And I don't know if you're like me, but when I find a pen that I feel like my writing looks really nice with, I just never want to ever let it run out of ink. Um, and these is what, this, this is one of those pens. Um, it's basically the nicest pen to write with and it has Tiny Twist printed on it. Not sponsored, just really, really like this pen. And um, they also sent me a few other bits actually. They sent me a calligraphy pen. They also sent me um, this really nice, and I love things that have Tiny Twist or my name on anyway, but they sent me this really cool photo album. It's this really nice burgundy kind of leather, or suede, I don't really know what, I think it's leather. And um, yeah, and it opens up, it's like a wrap material, and you can stick all your photos in it. And I thought this would be really nice for after my wedding, um, just like little Polaroids and things I want to stick in here. I have got a Polaroid camera, and I have been trying to take like little snaps of like wedding preparation with it so I thought I'm going to stick them all in here and um yeah it kind of does up like so and then you tie these around there but I just thought that was really nice like what a nice little combination I've got to show you this but they also sent me this um calligraphy pen which again has tiny twist engraved on it um which I just love so I have found a gluten-free cream tea <laughs> I'm gonna eat it and enjoy it <laughs> and then let you know, guys know how good it is. <laughs> so I'm just out of my mum, we're having a little shopping, it's really, really quiet in here. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy. It is Friday, so it's allowed, right? Hi guys, so it's obviously the evening now. Um, today was really nice, me and mum went into town and we had a little look around. I had some birthday present things to buy and um, it was a really nice day actually. We had a cream tea, as you can see. Um, and as you guys always comment at how much you love when I talk about my mum, but literally, best day ever. Like, I love shopping with my mum. I could probably do it every day and not get bored and to be honest it's not even the shopping thing that I love it's spending time with my mum so um, I don't know if any of you guys I'm in Tesco car park and it's so busy everyone's looking at me like what a weirdo um, but yeah I don't know if you guys um, live with your mum or your parents anymore but I think since I moved out I always really appreciate time that I get to spend with them and it makes it more special in a way like I appreciated them when I lived with them but spending time with your parents once you've moved what is that? Oh, trolleys. So been telling your parents once you moved out, just, it just is more special, I think. Um, so yeah, we had a lovely day. Um, and yeah, and now I'm actually in Tesco car park because I am gonna go and see my friend tonight and that'll be nice and it's really cold and I've got my new jumper on here that I brought today, but you can't actually see it, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, so maybe I'll catch up with you in the morning rather than saying goodbye tonight because I know I haven't vlogged much today. Um, so yeah, so I'll catch up with you in the morning, but for now I'm gonna go spend time with my friend, go to get some petrol which is fun and um and yeah do some friend stuff <laughs> 